Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and do a quick video upon how we can change our factor levels. Uh, sometimes we need to be able to change uh, the level of our factors so that we can, when we're doing our proportions testing, we can choose uh, if we're testing like our yeses or if we're testing our noes, or we can kind of go back and forth. Okay, so here is an example of how we can do this. So here's one of our certificates, and let's go ahead and open up a guide. And let's just go ahead and copy in all of our data. And let's come here into our, our commander. Let's import it. Okay, now let's go ahead and do a uh, just a hypothesis test of proportions. So we go to our statistics proportion, single sample proportions test. Let's choose my uh, education and let's go to options and we'll just leave this as kind of its basic test and we click OK and what we look at is we've got this college and we've got the GRE and we've got this P of a little under 50% so it's looking at the true proportion of, of um, oh, officers or members of the police force uh, who have a college education versus a GRE and so it's testing to see if this, uh, if the true proportion of police members who have a college education is, uh, is not equal to 50%. Now, what if we wanted to instead test if it was the true proportion of members of this police department who had a GRE? We would need to switch the order and the, the levels that our commander decides to set the um, the factors at is just in alphabetical order. So it's just because the college comes before GRE. But we can flip this around if we want to. Maybe that's not what we wanted to do. So what we can do is, it's very simple. There's a couple ways we can get there. One, we can go just from data, manage variables in our active data set, and we can come down to one that says reorder our factor levels. And when we click on it, we just need to go ahead and pick out which um, which variable we're interested in, so we're interested in education. We go ahead and click OK. Yes, we're going to overwrite this variable. And for college, we all of a sudden make it 2, and then the GRE, we make it 1. And then we can just go ahead and click OK. And now, it doesn't look like it's done much, but it just says, you know, the data set has 97 rows and 4 columns. And But we see here how it did this levels GRE and college. So now when I run this one sample proportions again, Education, options, just leave those the same when I click OK. Now it's got GRE first and it's got the college. And if we know that the sample estimate down here is a little over 50%, which makes sense because the GRE is just a little bit bigger than the college. So that's how you go ahead and change your factor levels like this. Uh, the other way that you can get to it is if you have uh, the R Commander plugin for the Teach Stat, you can go to the basic statistics, we can go to our data and we can go to manage the variables and we can then go over to uh, like you change the reorder the factor levels and it just pulls up that exact same thing just from a different menu and we can do the exact same thing so that's how we are able to go through and change which uh, which category it is choosing as the category of significance and uh, it's because sometimes you want to flip it. So like this one, it tested the GRE against 50%. And up here, this one, it tests college students against 50%. And you can know which one it's doing is because it's going to be testing this first one up here. So this one was the test against college. And this one is the test against the GRE. So I hope that that helps you understand how you can reorder those factor levels uh, when they're not in the correct order that you want them to be in.